Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 6 of my 6x6x6 six 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 paper pad series. That's a lot of 6s in that. Um, so today I'm using the Heart Day collection, um, just the 6x6 six six paper pad. Um, I'm also going to pull in some of the chipboard and the ephemera. And you can see here I've got my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, but... Don't panic if you don't have one. Um, I will give you in a second um, a few hints and tips as to how you can get around this. So I've pulled out of the 6x6 um, the six six paper pad four different pattern papers that I wish to use. And um, I wanted to do a mixture of pink and some black and white as well. So I chose some, I mean all the papers coordinate anyway, but I chose ones that um, I was happy with. And what I'm going to do with these, don't get rid of those paper strips. I've just cut those down to um, five by five, but don't get rid of the strips because we're going to need those um, shortly. So if you are following along with this, then keep hold of them. So here I am using the envelope punch board. Uh, env yeah, envelope punch board. Um, you don't have to have one of these to create envelopes. Um, I like all the little tools and it just makes my life that little bit easier. Um, if you don't know how to create an envelope, um, there are a couple of ways that you can do it without needing one of these tools. Um, firstly, you can um, find templates online quite easily um, that you just sort of trace around and cut them out. Um, or you could just get an envelope, um, the, the size you want, open it out, trace around that and then cut it and then you just got to fold it over on the um, where the score lines would be um, and it's that easy uh, so yeah so that's created my little envelopes there and um, if you've got double-sided pattern paper um, and you'd prefer that look then that's fine but um, personally I think it gets a little busy uh, if you use double-sided pattern paper so I'm just going to go with a single-sided one for this now it's just getting a bit too busy with these envelope flaps on there so I have decided to cut the tops off um, because there's going to be little bits of paper sticking out of it anyway so you're not really going to notice. Um, so they're going to look like little letters um, so I'm just cutting down some white card. Um, this is a really thin white card, it doesn't need to be anything special and I'm cutting it cutting it down I think the envelopes were three and three quarter inches um, so I'm cutting it just um, an eighth under that uh, size and then two and a half inches tall um, to go into each envelope and you'll see there they're starting to look like um, letters coming out of the envelopes which is super cute and just the last one here didn't have enough on that paper strip and I'm going to have these cascading down the left hand side of the page. So the photograph that I am um, using is one of me and my husband. Not I think this is one of our first holidays together. Um, way, way back, more than 10 years ago. Um, so I wanted to... Um, I've said time and time again, I've got a whole box of photographs and I've only been scrapbooking for two years. So I've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, so I'm scrapping old and new and um, it seems to work for me. I want to try and get all of the ones that I've got printed scrapped by the end of this year so I can start printing them off in year order. Um, so those scraps that I said um, that I was going to keep, those are going to be the backing to my photo. So I've just lined them in um, and just an odd order um, so they're not all sort of lined up straight and I'm um, just back to my photograph there on some white card as well and then I'm just going to align these envelopes up the left hand side of the page until I'm happy and then off camera I do get those stuck down um, so you don't have to be bored watching me so I come in with some um, alpha stickers and if you're wondering these came from B&M of all places in the UK and they're £1.49 which I think is an absolute bargain and I know they've had um, letter stickers in there before um, as well that looked very similar to the American Crafts ones and um, yeah these are just as good to be honest. Um, they're chipboard so I'm not too sure how long they're going to stick for and um, I was feeling brave not to add any wet glue so I thought oh, I'll just give it a go, stick it down. If it falls off I just have to glue it back on. So I'm just gluing that in like it's a letter that's coming out of the envelope and there's my title called Love Letters. And so I'm just going through the ephemera pack, I'm ready to start embellishing now. And this is the ephemera pack from the Heart Day collection um, and I think this collection came out last year. 
think it was last year. Um, and um, yeah, I haven't massively used it to be honest. So um, my along with scrapping my older photos, my ambition this year is to try and really sort of use up some of the collections that I have um, without purchasing more. But I say that and I know that I will do anyway, but hey. So I'm just coming in uh, with this one. So on this little letter um, is where I'm going to write my journaling. And I'm just using a 0 0.3 fine line pen um, and just tucking that into the pocket. So I don't want that to be stuck in because I want the ability to be able to take that little note out. Um, so I don't stick that one in. Now I move these two pieces of ephemera around and I swap it, um, these die cuts, I swap it. Uh, from one envelope to another one I decide that I prefer that light pink um, one to go with the black and white one and I will come back to that so this looks like a little invitation um, I think it says um, something about a valentine's dance or something but it doesn't matter um, it really doesn't matter oh, valentine's evening there we go and I just thought it looked really cute so I thought I'll use that as if it's a little invitation coming out of the envelope as well and then I decide to use this die cut as a tab for my journaling. So um, you can sort of grab onto that and pull the journaling out. So I'm just going to stick that onto the back and then tuck that back into the envelope. And then um, onto the chipboard and uh, some of the stickers as well. So these Heart Day stickers, there's so many Valentine stickers on there. However, there are, are some other usable ones. So I'm just using this one that says Be Mine. And sometimes I cut down some of that white space. Um, other times I just leave it. It's really not bothering me on this layout. Um, everything's quite chunky on the layout anyway. So um, adding in chunky stickers really hasn't bothered me. So in with the chipboard and I add on um, the XOXO heart piece and I just move that heart, um, I think it's meant to be a donut, a heart donut piece or a die cut up to that top one there and then I come in with another couple of um, hearts, just one on the bottom envelope and then one on the top um, just to bring some more of that black colour in. And here I am just peeling off some of those layers of chipboard because it is just so thick and um, it just really bulks my albums out. So um, especially the um, crepe paper ones, the American Crafts crepe paper ones, they, they are really thick in the, um, in the album. So yeah, um, one of my uh, subscribers left me that little tip. And I think it was Natalie, so thank you very much, Natalie, if you're watching. And um, yep, just sticking that big piece down on top of the photo there. I'm not too worried. I've used glossy accents to stick it down. I'm not too fussed about um, the glossy accents being on top of my photo. It's not, as far as I'm aware, it's not going to um, it's not going to ruin it. So now um, I don't tend to mix collections or um, manu uh, not manufacturers designers, um, but I have decided to bring in the Maggie Holmes sticker book uh, from American Crafts here because I liked the pink and the gold, um, and I thought it'd match in really well. So I've just added in some gold hearts um, across the page and I love these little pink bows. So I add in a couple there um, as well, one on the bottom envelope and one on the um, tag where my journaling is. And just some sentiments here and then I'm going to bring some, I'm just going to throw everything at this layout. So I'm going to bring some florals in and I oh, forgot to stick that die cut piece down. So I'm just going to add that back in just so it's poking out and you can see what the words say. I'm going to add in these little gold stars as well into a couple of the clusters. So there's a lot of um, a lot of embellishing going on here um, and I'm trying to contain it onto each envelope um, and to the bottom right of the photo. So just coming in, just bringing a bit more of that black down to the bottom right. Um, there's not much black on the right hand side of the page so that helps to draw the black over there as well. And I think I come in with another, yeah, a couple more florals. So I quite like the look of the floral sort of poking out of the envelope. And so I just add another one in up the top there. And yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks sweet. So just a couple more stickers. This one that says you and me. Um, and then I'm just going to add in a, um, a gold foil um, XOXO to this as well. And 
I think this is pretty much my layout finished. So I hope you've enjoyed episode six of six by six by six. And um, if you haven't watched any of the others or if you're new to my channel, then hi, welcome. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't already done so for more of these videos coming your way. Um, if you want to watch the previous videos, then um, head to my channel um, and you'll find the 6x6 playlist on there. Um, so you can go back and watch any of the previous five I've done as well. And um, yeah, thank you very much for your support. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye.